g plus h of x equals f of x. So let's set that up. g of x is 1 over x plus 3 plus h of x, that's x over x minus 3, equals f of x, which is x plus 1, over x squared minus 9. Okay, again, we want to factor denominators if we can. Okay, so that leads to this slightly altered equation, where the denominator of the last one is x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay, now I want to multiply through by the common denominator. Okay, my common denominator is going to be x plus 3, x minus 3, together. All denominators will have something that cancels if I multiply by x plus 3, x minus 3. So multiply this one by x plus 3, x minus 3, plus x over x minus 3, times x plus 3, x minus 3, equals x plus 1 over x plus 3, x minus 3, times x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay, so now we should have denominators canceling out all the way through x plus 3 and x plus 3 cancels on that first one to leave me with 1 times x minus 3. x minus 3 will cancel with x minus 3 to leave me with x times x plus 3. And x plus 3, x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 3 cancels on the right leaving me with x plus 1. Okay, let's simplify this if we can. Distribute the 1 to get x minus 3. Distribute the x to get x squared plus 3x. This equals x plus 1. Let's combine like terms on the left side. x squared is by itself. x plus 3x will give me 4x minus 3 equals x plus 1. Okay, this is a quadratic equation, so let's get the quadratic equal to 0. I'll subtract x from both sides, and I will subtract 1 from both sides. So I have x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals, everything cancels on the right, leaving me with 0. Okay, so now I have a quadratic equation to solve. x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. I can factor that. x plus 4, x minus 1 equals 0. Set each part equal to 0. x plus 4 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals negative 4 and x equals 1. Negative 4 and 1 are the two solutions to this equation.